obviously this isn't it doesn't feel good i'm not gonna lie um i do think we made some positive strides um you know obviously we we made an emphasis to get the ball inside and our interior guys uh, performed really well and um, so we executed that well um, I actually thought executing defensively well until overtime. I mean, there were there were some things that obviously we got to do a little bit better, but um, I don't know. I think they were about 40% going into overtime. And um, we got to secure the, the, the rebound a little more, the backboard, um, got to do a better job. Um, you know, what hurt us and continues to hurt us is transition basketball. And uh, I thought, um, you know, we really emphasized it in practice. You know, the, the first step in transition defense is is shot selection um, and specifically shot selection at the rim um, so if you if you go back and, and you look you know we missed a lot of layups off one foot that led to baskets for them and it's not something that we want to do um, it is something that we try to emphasize um, but again we just didn't do a good enough job of it and, and I really think that was the difference in the game I mean um, you know, we've got to do that better. I thought they did that better. If you watch them, they, they get in there, they pivot. Um, you know, they don't force up a lot. Um, and, and so we've, got, we've just got to play off two feet better. Um, you know, take the layups when we get them, get to the foul line. Um, but, you know, if we're not falling out of bounds, then we're not at a disadvantage um, as we transition down. Kevin, yeah, can you just touch on that a little bit about transition defense and everything? They have a 13 to 2 in fast break. Yeah, yeah. I mean, coach has been pre preaching that all all year. Transition defense has been killing us. Uh, we just got to find a way to find better shots on offense, and like you said, get the two get the two feet and make the right read off that. And sometimes when we didn't do that tonight, and they got out, ran, we couldn't match up, we couldn't get back. So we just got to do a better job of just shot selection on, on offense. Matt, this is a, a another. Thing that's happened, and they had 10 more shots than you guys have. I think looking at some of the other games you guys have had, it's been a big shot disparity on the other side. What is that product of? I mean, obviously, you guys shot a little bit better going in the overtime. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, so a couple things in this specific game, they were, they were, what am I looking at? 23 of 62, so they missed 40 something shots. Um, you know, they, they rebound. I mean, they have you know 11 offensive rebounds. Um, again, I thought we had to secure the backboard better. Um, we didn't do a, a good enough job of that. Um, and so, again, you know, it, that is a catch because I will tell you, we work on rebound and that's where Connor gets hurt, you know. And so there's just, a, you know, you try to protect your guys, but at some point, you know, we got to, you know, we got to rebound, we got to hit a body, um, and we got to do that. And again, um, you know, it's the little things um, hurt us again tonight. Um, um, I do think we did some stuff better. I think. We had a little bit better identity. Um, we got the ball to these you know, two guys um, in pretty good spots all night, and they were able to perform. Um, we just got to continue to, to, to get better with that. Thomas, I know talking about individual stuff isn't a fun thing to do, but I mean, what was working for you during the course of this game? Uh, just being more aggressive than I was the last game. Um, and credit my teammates for looking inside the post, you know, late and maybe that, half, that extra half seconds to get it in there. Uh, but really, it was just my teammates giving me the ball at the right time just really helped out. Matt, it, it seemed to be some a lot of different substitution patterns, you know, like Keandre and Joe coming in the second half, couple of guys played the first half and they played the second half. Is he just trying to find a flow early in the year of, of, of lineup combinations that work? <laughs> yeah, a, a little bit of that. Um, Emil couldn't go um, in the second half. He's, had, he's battling some, you know, something with his um, uh, chest. breathing chest. Yeah, I mean, it's just he, he's having a hard time. Um, been to the doctor a couple times, it's hard, hard to kick it. So, um, um, you know, that's why. And then, you know, Keandre, obviously, I thought, um, you know, going into this week, um, uh, you know, he didn't practice um, two days ago, um, and Connor did. Um, Connor coming back from injury, I wanted to give him a little bit of a look. Um, but, you know, Slim came in and performed. I thought he did a really good job. And, uh, you know, it's hard with freshmen, you know, that aren't, aren't as experienced in, in them. But um, I thought he executed I me. Mean, he came in, obviously banged a shot. Um, I thought he guarded well. Um, and then I thought that pull-up that he had was, was the right read. He also entered the post a couple times, which was fantastic. And so um, we got to continue to work, work him in. Um, you know, he's been dealing with a little bit of a, a thumb thing. So, um, 
you know, it, it's 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 been painful. So there's there's guys playing through a lot of stuff right now, and so, um, but we're gonna form you know our rotation. Hopefully, we get Ben back here pretty soon, um, and um, you know we'll be adding Kobe here pretty soon, hopefully, and and, um, and we can move forward. Kevin, you know, I know this isn't exactly what you guys signed up for, right? But like, how do you what how do you guys bond together? Now you've been together since June. It was easy when. There weren't losses, but I guess how do you kind of find the soul of this team now? A bunch of people coming together in four months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually like how we've we've been responding to our to our losses. Actually, no one's been has, holding their hair down, and we've all been staying confident in each other, staying with each other. So I think if we continue to do that, no doubt that we'll be able to get better and compete. And Thomas, basically the same same question for you. Just how do you really rise above this? Right. You know, uh, obviously. Uh, as Kevion said, like our team is not dead. You know, we believe in each other. We believe in the coaching staff. The game plan is we just got to figure out how to execute in that last final stretch of the game. I mean, you you execute in the last five minutes of both games, and we're sitting here two and zero. Have a totally different conversation. So it's just we're not a team that will be dead. We're a team that's positive, and we're going to move forward to wanting to change things.